Okay, so concerning our last video, I spoke on particles and other stuff, but in this video, I had promised to um, elaborate more on how to um, create your own particles in Moho Studio and do your stuff properly. Though I know I explained a bit about it, but I, would just, I just want to use this video to explain a little bit more so that you get a much more broader understanding in case you are starting from the scratch so let's take this um, quick example so let's say if i have this or better yet how to create an a quick um, explosion or just understanding the particles rather is what is most important i guess so when you understand it you can create whatever thing you hope to create so what i will do is i will just you know make this um, a simple um, ball to make it look <coughs> see if it's going to explode and we could quickly just create this let's say let's make this a bit green yeah and we'll go to our effects and add a soft edge all right and let's make that let's say four okay then we'll change our stroke to maybe red or well, when you have a green bomb or deep green something of that nature around here and we hit ok so we'll, we will add an inner stroke I like that create another stroke create shape rather and increase the shape something like this and reduce the edge something like this then we'll, we would go ahead and turn off this other part and we just want that one inside to so just give it a some sort of um, feel you don't worry you understand what it is later so we have this so what we'll go ahead and do is duplicate this layer into like four or five one two three four so from the fourth one we'll reduce the fourth one to make we'll make it very small ctrl z to undo that highlight all of it make sure they are all highlighted so look i never really had love before i just want to make you we reduce it you can rotate it to any part you want reduce the shape and we'll go to the next one make sure all is highlighted also reduce it to something closer to the first one then we'll go to the second one layer two reduce it make it much more bigger then we can leave layer one as large as this ctrl z ctrl all to highlight it so we can leave layer one as large as as this if we want so what we'll do next is that we'll highlight all these layers and come to our add layer tool and go to particles and click on our particle layer drag it to the top highlight all of these other layers by holding shift and drag them into your particle layer all right so you can see once they are all in the particle layer you now have this if we quickly render this out this is what we'll get so you can see it's it's almost like it's an explosion going on so you, you've made a quick explosion and you can just go ahead and use this as much as you want so just like in the last video as i explained what i said was you can now come into the particle layer by double clicking on this layer like this and move to particles then now you can adjust your particles as you want so if we play this um, right now you see the particles are moving in the center at 90 degrees so which is simulating more like a big explosion is happening right so we'll click, quickly render that out you, you can see they are all moving in this particular at this particular point in the whole circle but you can go ahead now just like the rain example we gave I gave in that last video you can now come around and rotate this to the bottom at this point now the direction here when we click ok you will not you will now see the particle falling down you see the particle is now falling down you understand and this is how you by manipulating all these um, particle settings you have here <coughs> you can do whatever thing you want to do you can turn this to 10 all right and when you hit OK, it affects it in in that way. So that means it has reduced the spread of the particle to a particular line. Then if we can go ahead and also let's bring it back to 20, the spread of it. 
and we have our acceleration at 270 then we have our direction at 90 and you can also impute, impute it here directly if you know what you are directly from your keyboard rather then you can go ahead here and turn your particle count how much particles you want to you know play out while this is going on you can turn this to 10 you can turn this to 100 you can turn it to 50 whatever you want you can reduce or increase your particle count and also your preview particles how many particles are you seeing while the something is being previewed that is what it means and you have your lifetime frames is it 24 so at every 24 frames you have a continuous repeat of whatever the particle is doing at that moment and also at your source width same thing the source width is the length 0 0.10 you can increase it to um, 20 40 50 if you want it to cover the whole screen so on and so forth and this is just basically the idea of um, using um, particles while creating whatever animation you are creating all right i hope you really get this idea and that's it for uh, using particles. Look, I never really had love before. I just want to make you.